Hey everybody, that was the uh, excerpt from Hungarian Rhapsody number no. two that those of you who are submitting an online audition for the Houston Youth Symphony Symphonia will need to prepare. Um, I've got a couple of thoughts about how to best prepare this excerpt in particular and also some thoughts that might apply to other things in your practice as well. Uh, so first of all, in uh, any audition, what the judges are going to be listening for is, first of all, a good sound. Good quality sound is absolutely key. You can't really play a great audition without it. You won't see anyone uh, succeed in an audition without good sound. So that's uh, first and foremost. Uh, after that, we also have a, a very specific marked tempo range uh, on this excerpt and all of the excerpts um, for the Houston Youth Symphony auditions. So it's important to uh, be able to render the, uh, the excerpt at that speed uh, and to stay within those bounds. Don't go faster than that, even if you feel like you can, which, which is all fine and good. But for the audition's sake, stick with the mark tempo. And uh, lastly, the uh, details in the music. Obviously, the style of the music, any written uh, instructions in the music. Um, you want to be able to represent all of those in your playing. Uh, first thing I will say about um, how to generally prepare anything, either for an audition or for a performance, is when you're practicing something new at home, what we want to do is start under tempo and get all of the details, all of the um, musicality that we want in the music under tempo and then work it up. That's for me, it's been the um, absolute key to uh, having having things under my fingers, having difficult excerpts, anything that you are learning, especially for the first time, you input into your brain <laughs> perfectly the first time, and then you work it up. So don't set your metronomes at 120 and just try and blast it out until, until it comes right, because that's going to take way longer than just starting a little bit under tempo. All right, so let's first talk about this uh, first chunk, starting at uh, measure 142. This is a solo uh, marked piano. So in, in the framework of uh, an audition, what we want to see is a pretty and not um, uh, definitely no brassiness in the sound. But what's it's not important to, to play uh, so, so quietly. You're not trying to show off how quietly you can play with this, just that you can uh, produce a, a nice, sweet, kind of soft sound color. Um, that's the most important. So uh, when working on that, just uh, incorporate that into your scales for the day, into um, any warm-ups that you're doing. Make sure that you're doing both kind of like a healthy loud and uh, a lovely, sweet, soft, nice and comfortable. It doesn't have to be um, too extreme. Uh, I would start with this first chunk playing nice and under tempo and uh, let's for now let's look over the articulation markings here and just play nice long legato notes to get the notes under our fingers to feel what kind of air we need for each of those notes uh, and to pick up the rhythm. Uh, so under tempo just a little bit of and easy not not super quiet not so quiet that it gets pinched or sounds um, thin uh, but also trying to kind of give a softer sound color uh, paying attention to the rhythm we want to make sure that these uh, these uh, 16ths are nice and snappy you can do a little bit of subdivision to, to double check that you're you're playing those accurately uh, after feeling comfortable with that, playing that all the way through, then uh, let's get into the uh, authentic articulations that are marked. This includes uh, uh, staccatos on, on most of these kind of lifted notes in that mid-high range. So 
Um, one thing to consider is keeping your air support uh, throughout. So we're not uh, letting go of that air support in between notes. Really, um, when I'm playing short, my air behind that, my uh, the, the air support that I'm creating is constant. So it's just And then I'm using my tongue to articulate, um, but that, that support stays there constantly. That's gonna be a big help. Okay, so now let's talk about the second section, which starts at 274. Here we have a marked fortissimo, similar to, uh, similar to the, the piano side of things. We don't want to overblow, we don't wanna be making a, a nasty sound, but we do wanna give a little bit of brassiness on the sound to show that we understand that this is more than forte. Uh, so nice and strong with a little bit of brass in the sound uh, and pay particular attention to where we have accents and sforzandos. An accent gives you a nice crispness, crispness at the front of the note and the sforzando is a little bit more of a bloom. So you can even think about phrasing to that um, F sharp. Uh, and this excerpt, again, uh, there's, there's some tricky fingerings. This is uh, a, lot, a lot of chromatic uh, kind of note movement. So um, take it nice and slow. The first time, I want pick a tempo where you can play through the whole thing perfectly the first time with all of the details included. Give me one second. Just a little plumbing. Okay, so nice and slow. Uh, pick a tempo that, that is completely comfortable and that you're going to be able to play through it without stopping, without uh, missing anything. that you can't find the fingerings in time or you're you're playing off some written in fingerings play just isolate these bars play them very slow but in a tempo so set a metronome to like 60 and and play with that or even we could even just keep 120 and use that as our quarter note or uh, sorry our eighth note <laughs> Here on the syncopated section, we want to keep in time. So play this a lot with the metronome. Do a lot of slow work. Make sure you hit all these details as you're practicing slow. And I guarantee uh, as this comes up to speed, the you won't be missing fingerings. You will have control of your articulations and it will feel comfortable to play because we learned it perfectly um, under tempo first. <laughs> All right, uh, good luck practicing. Uh, make sure you uh, give yourself plenty of time between your takes uh, to take uh, a break off the chops. You want to have some water because uh, these, these kind of one take uh, auditions, you can spend all day trying to get it uh, just right. So make sure you pace yourself. All right, good luck, everybody.